Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. It's actually near the afternoon, um, but it's Friday today and there's a lot going on in the house. My brother is upstairs fitting the floor. Basil has had the serious zoomies this morning because he loves my brother so much. Honestly, I've never seen him so excited. He was doing laps around his car. He was jumping on the sofa, literally launching himself off the sofa running around in circles he was so excited and then my brother crouched down and he literally pinned him on the floor and was licking him to death so that was lovely <laughs> but yes the floor is going in in the dressing room today which is so exciting and i will actually be doing a whole video in the next video which will be a big look at the dressing room all the last finishing touches and my thoughts for like future um furnishing because there's a couple of pieces i really want but they are quite expensive so we'll get to that in the next vlog yesterday was actually mine and jack's nine year anniversary which is so wild i cannot believe it's been nine years that has gone by very very quickly <laughs> we didn't actually celebrate yesterday both of us said let's wait till friday and we can do something nice jack actually did say to me where do i want to go do i want to go to a vineyard a pub go somewhere for dinner and i was like do you know what all I want to do is take Basil for a walk, have a couple of pizzas, maybe sit in the garden, have some champagne, and that'll do. That is actually what I would love to do. Poor Basil is really teething. Um, a lot of his teeth have fallen out, and oh, poor little thing. His baby teeth are coming out, and his adult teeth are coming through. So his um, mouth is probably very, very sore, and he's very clingy. <laughs> so... Um, yeah bless his little heart poor thing i know i know fridays are usually my reset days i like to just get the house feeling nice ready for the weekend tick off some last bits on my laptop get myself organized for the following week i just find when i do that on a friday it really helps me kind of like plan ahead so i've been hoovering i've been mopping and, and this might be a bit boring but i've got a couple of cleaning products that i'm really enjoying at the moment and if anyone else is watching like me and you love a good cleaning product, I thought I'd share them with you. I am definitely a creature of habit and when I find a brand of something that I love, I will tend to just stick with it. So I discovered this brand Delphis a good couple of years ago when we actually lived in our apartment and I loved it. This was actually the spray that I first discovered, the multi-surface polish. It smells nice, it's natural, it's quite a clean base um cleaning product and i think it has a royal warrant which is quite interesting um i just really love this and it works it's not one of those cleaning products that kind of tells you that it's going to be amazing and doesn't really do much it actually is so so good so i use this to clean all of the sides and then this is the glass and stainless steel cleaner this glass cleaner is probably the only one i have used that actually works and doesn't smear the windows um and we have quite a lot of windows so this is very very good and then i also picked up a couple of new ones recently i got the floor and surface gel cleaner which i've actually had in my mop and this works really really well i've just got a spray mop with microfiber um like mop heads that you can put in the washing machine so it's really good you're not throwing anything away i used to have a flash mop which was like um disposable pads and i was honestly getting through so many of them it was such a waste of money and so bad so i decided to get a new mop and go for the microfiber one that i can just chuck in the wash every week and get a new one um and then it comes out sparkling clean so loving this it's quite like a lemony fresh smell which i really like and then this which is actually a bit of a hero product in my cleaning kit this is the stain remover and I've actually already used so much of this because I went through all of our clothes that we wear in the garden, we wear doing jobs, bits and bobs like tea towels and things that get really stained with loads of different things. And I sprayed every single bit um, and then chucked it in the wash. And I cannot tell you how incredible this is. Everything came out perfection. Even stains like grease, like Jack's work stuff that gets grease on it, that is so hard to get out and I mean it didn't completely take it out but it really did make a difference so yeah really recommend this so that's my little cleaning loot sorry if you can hear that in the background as I said my brother's doing the floor so um, he's got the jigsaw out and
there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, the floor's actually nearly finished. He's been doing it all morning. Um, and it's actually nearly lunchtime now. And I'm starving. So I'm going to make some brunch. I have no clue. I have got some sourdough. Um, I don't know what else I've got, really. I do need to do a food shop. Right, let's make some food. brunch is sourdough avocado tomato feta a little bit of pepper and some basil as well delicious really craving something super fresh so this is exactly what i'm in the mood for we're a bit low here let me oh, let me lower this down a bit oh. oh thank you for the help oh my gosh thank you so much basil thank you just hold on a minute I know, you just, you've got to be involved, haven't you? You've got to be involved. Oh, oh no, this is way too low. <laughs> what a great start. Life has been so chaotic these last couple of weeks. Um, there's lots happening at the moment. I feel like I've taken it upon myself to start so many new things lately. My interior course and launching an interior service in the future and kind of doing all the behind the scenes for that my assessments that come with the course and then also all my normal work um it's been a lot and to add to that we're actually going away in when you're watching this a week which i am so excited for i cannot wait jack and i have not had a proper holiday like a poolside holiday in years i can't remember the last time jack and i just went away on our own i have a feeling it was just after that first lockdown when we were able to travel again and we went to greece and i have blonde hair and extensions then so that was a long time ago so i cannot wait um there'll be more to come about our trip but i'm so excited but it does mean whenever we have a trip that is more than a weekend long it means that my workload is kind of tripled because I am an organiser and I like to be planned and prepared 
and it means that I have almost like two weeks worth of work to do in one week so yeah things have just been a little bit chaotic lately but it's all good and I've been really enjoying this kind of like slow pace but just more to do and I've, I've just been really enjoying it I actually have an app to recommend to you and I have done a newsletter all about this which will be coming next Monday um, so when you're watching this it'll be in a week um, but it's a topic that I am really really interested in and actually quite fascinated by I think it's something that we can all benefit from so last year I downloaded an app called My Human Design it's created by Jenna Zoe who has got 10 years of experience within this field and she has designed an app which basically allows anybody to find out your human design look at your chart look at all the parts that make up who you are and essentially is a bit of a toolkit to live in your best life so um i downloaded it last year had a look at it and completely forgot so i re-downloaded it and i've been really looking at it with within detail and kind of like applying it to my life and things that I already do and maybe things that I can change or adapt and honestly it is so fascinating I this is not sponsored or anything I just really want to share it because I can't believe how much this has realigned my mindset and almost I feel like I've had a bit of a shift in myself um, and I am always on the hunt to find little things certain things that can just flick a switch and make me better perform better I've spoken about it before but I struggle a lot with PMS I also struggle a lot in the winter I find that a really tough time like mentally PMS is such a hard thing to navigate because I get hit by that a lot um, and I always find it quite debilitating and I feel like a bit of a failure because my body and my mind are not functioning how they usually should so Leaning into a lot of these pointers and a lot of these tips, I feel like it's going to really, really help me. So I have found out that my energy type is a generator and that essentially means that I generate energy and whenever I do something that makes me happy, I light up with excitement and that then kind of spills out into other people that are around me and that I talk to and all of those things. And it's funny because I really do feel like that is true. I'm very positive and optimistic and I like to have a good outlook on life because life is going to be a bit boring if you don't do that and a bit sad as well so there are lots and lots of parts to this app if I show you my phone hopefully you can see that so there are so many different headings so many different tabs and you can click on one of these and then it brings up these little text boxes with all the information and yeah everything is in here there is a lot of information um and it's fascinating you really can sit and read through this properly and find out so much more about yourself and so many things that actually really align i cannot believe how many things i've read and think oh my god that's so true that's so me um i also did my mum's human design and also jack's and for both of them they were they all looked so different firstly but they were so accurate i was reading jack's and it was the complete opposite to mine and it was so true and interestingly my energy type and jack's energy type supposedly perfect match for a relationship which is wild because i feel like jack and i we've been together for nine years throughout kind of that phase of being teenagers going to university college like navigating all of those times of growth at that phase in your life when you're kind of meeting new roadblocks new people like there's so much going on and we have just always been the same nothing has really changed in our relationship since i was 17 and i don't know why that is and i've never really been able to understand why i don't know when i speak to other people um like why we don't argue or why we don't really butt heads and why do we communicate well i've never really been able to understand that and I've always thought it was just because our personalities and now I can really understand it because when you completely break down your energy type, who you are as a person, why you think and do certain things, 
it's so clear why you might potentially have a bit of a magnet effect with certain people and potentially you know when you put two magnets of the same attraction together and they kind of go like that and they won't connect sometimes i feel like that with certain people and i've never really been able to understand why that is and this completely makes that clear. But there is, I won't read through it all because it will probably be very boring, but I do urge you to go and do your own because it's fascinating. Um, but one thing I really wanted to touch on was the digestion tab. So this section basically outlines what foods are really great for you, um, but also how it works with your brain and eating patterns that will probably work really well for you. So for me, it actually says that I have a warm bodily system, which means that to balance out and kind of like tone, tone down my body, I need cooling foods. So my digestion type was cold food, and the foods that they recommend are things like juices, cucumber, smoothies, lemon water, lots of like refreshing salads, all of those cold, crunchy foods. Um, but then it also says that if you want to eat something hot, potentially let it cool, even if it's to kind of room temperature. Another thing that this said in the kind of food section was actually more externally. And it said that if I'm in a hot environment or I'm too heated kind of mentally or emotionally, that can actually be quite triggering. As a generator and all of my kind of attributes, <laughs> I am somebody that feels things with my body. I'm an emotional person and I feel things in my gut. That's kind of like where I feel things and they become triggered. Whereas Jax was in his spleen, which is kind of slightly higher up, which is so interesting because he gets indigestion a lot and heartburn a lot, often when he's quite stressed. When I am quite stressed, I find that I am really, really bloated. Um, the same as when I'm really hot, my, I get very bloated. So a lot of things that it was saying to help with that were cooling things like ice baths, cold showers, even just getting fresh air, ice water, all of these things that are gonna kind of neutralize my system. So yeah, fascinating, really, really interesting. I hope that wasn't boring, <laughs> but I have just found it so interesting. It's such an incredible app and there's so many other things on there. Um, there's tips, discussions, all sorts. There's little like meditations and, um, and little like sound bites. And yeah, I'm just really, really fascinated by it. So let me know if you do your human design chart because I'd love to know. I'd love to hear what you guys are. Um, and it'll be really interesting to know if any of us are the same because I was, I was completely different to my mum and Jack, but then Jack's sister, I was a lot more similar to, which is interesting because we're both Aries and I feel like if you're into the star signs, it's just, it's just interesting. It's different. It's cool. I like finding out about myself and relating that to my everyday and my normal life. But anyway, this chat has been going on for ages. My little baby is having an afternoon nap on the sofa in his favourite spot. Ooh. I think that's the postman. I think this is something for the dressing room. My postman is honestly the sweetest, sweetest man and he absolutely loves Basil. He gets out the car and I can hear him going, Basil. <laughs> it's so sweet. To be honest, everyone loves Basil. I mean, how can you not? He is adorable. So these are my handles for my drawers, which have arrived in perfect time. I ordered these yesterday and I did do next day delivery and they've already arrived. Oh my gosh, these are perfect. These are from a company called Decor and Decor. And I wanted something quite traditional looking, something with a lot of character, antique brass to match the other fixings. So it's got this lovely ribbed detail and I love these little ends. They look so nice and they're super long because the drawers are quite long and I wanted something that is gonna be nice to pull. What is happening with my hair? Um, and I can also hang bits off this. So like little hangers and things, it's very handy to have a bar. Ew, these smell horrible. Whew. That smells like, oh, that's really horrible. That smells exactly like a vitamin powder that I used to have. 
years ago and it smelt vile and that is exactly what that smells like how odd um i think i'm gonna put these back in the packet but anyway i've got a big batch of these so once i build my drawers tomorrow they can go on which you will probably see in next week's vlog because i'm gonna do all of that in the next one but anyway i've got a bedroom to sort out because it's an absolute state up there there is clothes everywhere the bed needs changing the floor needs hoovering it's all chaotic i have had this sheet for so many years it's actually got holes in like the thread has completely given away i think we need to get a new one <laughs> the bedroom is done i've just put on this adenola set because i want to go and do a reformer um it's kind of like late afternoon now early evening and i'd like to get a reformer done while i'm in the mood and then i can sit on my laptop and finish off some bits before this evening um but this set is from adenola i swear by adenola gym wear i think it's the best it is so comfortable, breathable, lightweight. It's just unmatched in my opinion. The leggings are so perfect, seamless. They're always the right leg length for me. And yeah, I just absolutely love them. So I've got the burgundy set on, I'll link this below. I really like how this burgundy color looks with cream. Sometimes I'll wear this with like a cardigan when I'm walking basil or a sweatshirt or something. And I like the fact that these tank tops, I went up a size in this just so that it's a bit more long line because I don't love to have like a massive bit of skin showing there. I think my camera died, but reformer is done. Basil is very attention seeking right now. But I feel so much better for doing that. You never regret a workout, and that is so true. <laughs> Good evening. We have just had our pizzas and we are heading off on a walk. I'm still in my reformer clothes, but I've got my wellies on and this gorgeous cardigan, which is from Varley. This is a new in peace and i absolutely love Varley. it's one of my favorite brands for like loungewear sportswear i love it i'm definitely looking a bit tired my eyes are quite small <laughs> but we're gonna take basil out on a walk and catch the last of the sunset because th this golden hour is beautiful jack's just grabbing a jumper because it's a bit cold and basil has just been fast asleep while we were eating and we said to him do you want to go for a walk and he looked at us as if to say really you know you're so excited come on
you going to make that? <laughs> it's really shallow, the water. Yeah, I think it's actually because he can't run quickly in the water. <laughs> Clever boy. He's going to stink. <laughs> I think it's going to be bath time for you tomorrow. Have you had enough swimming? Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and it is not even eight o'clock yet and I am leaving the house to get to the supermarket. I have so much to get done today and Jack is at work so I thought you know what I'm gonna get up with Jack when he goes to work and um, get ready and get out. So Basil's had his breakfast he is probably sat at the window watching me drive away. And um, I am heading to Waitrose to do the food shop. Um, and then I also need to pop to the Pet Emporium and pick up some more dog food for Basil, run some errands, and then I'm back home. So that is the plan for Saturday morning. It is such a lovely morning. Clear skies, it's quite fresh in the air definitely not as warm as it has been the last few months it's got that real bite in the air you know that kind of like autumn fresh air feeling it's really giving me that and I'm not actually that happy about it because I am really loving summer but we had such a nice evening last night we actually went to bed so early and I feel like it was just so needed just it's very chilled we went for a lovely long walk Basil had so much fun. He actually got back from his walk, had a massive drink of water and then put himself to bed. <laughs> so I think he was very much ready to go to sleep and he had a great sleep last night. So that was brilliant. I really love my outfit today. I've got my Suzanne jeans on and this Lily Silk cardigan, which I am obsessed with and I cannot stop wearing. And I've also got my new bag with me. I'll show you once I park up and I get there. Um, because I've added something to the bag which I actually found when I was sorting out my cupboards and I love it and I think it really goes nicely with the bag I think for autumn especially it will look gorgeous so that is what is on the agenda today and I was thinking oh whoops there's a car coming I was thinking if I'm out nice and early then I will hopefully beat any traffic on a Saturday morning Waitrose will be nice and quiet and I can just wander around get the bits I need and get back home so that is the plan so I have just arrived and I've got my Demelier bag my new one and I actually was sent a beautiful fragrance from Grace de Monaco and they also put in this beautiful silk scarf and I feel like these colors are so autumnal and transitional season not that I'm ready for that but 
How stunning is this? And I think it looks really lovely with tan. So I added it onto my bag, which isn't something I've ever done before. Um, but I really like it. I think with a neutral outfit, it looks really lovely. It is 13 minutes past eight and I'm gonna grab my shopping bags and head in. Food shop done. And I must say that was the loveliest experience as there is something so nice about getting out before the rest of the world does. The shop was empty and the tills were dead. The car park was, oh my gosh, that made me jump. That motorbike just revved his engine. Um, the car park was empty. It was so nice. And I went to the guy, um, the guy that serves on the till that I always used to go to when I lived in Tenterden. And um, he remembered me and he was like, how are you? It was really nice. Um, and then I did my good deed of the day because I, it was quite funny, I was walking back to the car with my trolley and because I'm wearing my sandals, my feet, honestly, they have no grip and there's no like um, structure for my feet to move the trolley around and it's so awkward these trolleys, the wheels are just terrible and I was like going all over the place and then I walked next to the car next to me and the boot flew open and it made me jump because I didn't realise there was anyone behind me and I turned around and the guy was like oh sorry I was like no it's fine it made me jump I thought I did it and we had a bit of a laugh and then when I was taking my trolley back he was about to take his and he was quite an older man so I was like oh I'll take your trolley back and he was like oh thank you so much so that's my good deed of the day done and yeah I'm in great mood I I used to love when we lived in Tenterden walking I could walk into town and before I could drive it was the best thing because otherwise I would have been completely stuck and I loved walking into town every morning and I would like get a coffee or I'd take my laptop in and do some work in town have a little wander go for a walk and I just love Tenterden the feeling and the vibe that you get from the town the shops the people it's just so lovely everyone is so happy so friendly there is just nothing better than living in villages and towns I feel like people are so much nicer than in big cities and they actually take the time to thank you and to like chat and it's just so nice I feel like you just don't get that in cities or like London maybe you do in other cities but definitely not in London but anyway, I've got myself my coffee. This is my favorite. It's the Starbucks um, caramel macchiato chilled coffee. Um, delicious. And I am going to head to the Emporium now. <laughs> you so thirsty um i was desperate for some water but i have put the food shop away cleaned the kitchen done the dishwasher cleaned out the fridge and i've done arranged my flowers i got some roses from um waitrose i love their roses they're always really pretty and they last for so long just to freshen up the house and i'm gonna do some cooking because i was watching Zoella's vlog. Her and Alfie are doing um, vlogist, vlogist, <laughs> vlogging every day of August. And in one of the videos, they went to um, her mum's house and had a tour of the kitchen garden that her mum has. Which, oh my goodness, you have to go and watch that video if you haven't, because it was incredible. It was something out of a hotel, or I don't know. It was amazing. And her mum recommended a guy called Julius Roberts on Instagram. And I've actually seen him once before on, I think it was Alan Titchmarsh. Um, he was promoting his new book, which is called The Farm Table. His new book looks like this. And um, anyway, she was saying that his recipes are amazing and she loves them and she always makes them. So I was having a little look and I saw this kind of like short crust. Damn, I bought the wrong pastry. 
Well, anyway, I saw this um, asparagus and ricotta, like, puff pastry, um, like, tart. But I bought short crust pastry. So, I don't think that's going to work. Right, hold on. Let me see if I can, if it will still work. That is so annoying. Why did I do that? <sighs> if you watched my vlog when I went to uh, Flimwell Park, I had a pea and mint hummus and it was so delicious. And I really want to try and make my own. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it because I don't have like a proper uh, KitchenAid, like mixer. I only have my blender. But I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to have a look at a recipe and see if I can recreate it because I think that would be really delicious for lunch. I picked up some chickpeas and some more peas. So all you need is chickpeas, frozen peas, lemon, a clove of garlic, salt, Greek yogurt and some mint. So I have all of that and it says to put it in a food processor. Um, but I think maybe I could use my blender and maybe just not blend it so it's like a puree. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a go. And I bought some like sourdough, um, little like crisp flatbread -y type crackers. So I think that'd be really nice for lunch. So I'm hoping I'll make it and then when Jack gets home, we can enjoy it. Three tablespoons Greek yogurt. Three chickpeas. Right, I think we're gonna have to do this one bit at a time. My blend is not the best, so I think it's a little bit watery um, and hasn't mixed that well, but it tastes delicious. And I've just topped it with loads of seeds, pine nuts, and a drizzle of olive oil. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna put some cling film over it and put it in the fridge. And then when Jack gets home, we can enjoy this with some sourdough seeded flatbreads. That is honestly so easy to make. I think if I had better utensils and like a proper food processor rather than just this tiny blender um, i think it would work a lot better also this is the worst cling film i've ever bought in my life it basically doesn't work i wasn't going to share this because um i'm not sure how it's going to turn out but it might turn out really well so we shall see but i followed um julius roberts recipe mixed with one that i found online and one the one online was for short crust pastry and then obviously his one is for puff pastry so i kind of merged the two and i've just completely made up as i've gone along but i feel like it looks quite good so the oven's nearly heated up i'm gonna put it in for 20 minutes i think 15 and then check on it because our oven is really old and it is so hot um, and everything always cooks like five minutes quicker than you think it's going to I mean, this is how it's looking, and I think it looks pretty good. You're probably screaming at the screen, shouting, Lauren, that is terrible. But let's see how it goes. I've done the egg, ricotta, and um, goat's cheese mix, and then I've added in all the herbs, the lemon zest, and then topped with the asparagus. I've kind of made like a little border for the edge because, I don't know, I don't know why I did that, I just thought it would be a good idea. So we'll see how it turns out. It could be absolutely terrible and a waste of time, but let's see. I've just got changed because it is a boiling hot day today. I actually didn't know it was gonna be that hot today. And I've got 15 minutes until my timer, actually. Let me bring my phone with me because I will probably forget. 
and in that time i'm just going to go and quickly head out and do a little bit of deadheading on the rose bushes because the roses are crazy right now i've got my truck my secateurs let's go this one is absolutely flourishing look at all of these new buds over here i actually can't quite believe how many roses there are on this bush this is insane and these have all come oh okay these have all come from a completely new shoot down here which has grown out of the ground i just can't believe it they are beautiful so a little bit of deadheading to do on this one but not loads so big and heavy that the stems are completely falling and this one just snapped off which I'm so sad about but I'm gonna put it in a little bud vase um, and enjoy it inside and that is the beauty of having flowers in the garden and actually some of these ones that are looked a little bit past their best still look quite sweet so I've got a nice little truck of some bits that I can bring inside, which is nice. Um, but I definitely need to get some supports. I think I've got some bamboo in the shed that I can support those with because they're just going to keep growing taller and the heads are so heavy, they need supporting. So I'm going to do that this afternoon. Okay, it's out the oven and I think it looks really good. I'm quite impressed. I think this bit that was at the back um, this bit was at the back of the oven and that's always the hottest so I don't think that bit's done as well but for a first attempt and I seriously winged this recipe <laughs> um, and I think maybe for my lunch that I'm hosting on Friday I would like to make this but I think I'm going to do it properly and follow Julius's recipe properly with the puff pastry and yeah not make it up as I go along. Good afternoon it is now Sunday and i have been struck with the worst period pains in the world this morning um and i didn't pick up my camera much yesterday afternoon because honestly we just got on with loads of jobs in the dressing room um and i didn't have too much to show you but the courgette tart and the hummus were delicious jack got back and we sat in the garden and enjoyed them and honestly i was so impressed with myself they were both so good so i will leave the recipes that i followed below in case you want to try them for yourselves we popped out this morning for a couple of hours picked up some new bits for jack ready for our trip we went to ashford outlet and it was so lovely just having a nice early wander around we haven't been out and like shopped for ages so that was really nice jack picked up some gorgeous bits i do have a video coming soon where i will do like a full pack with me and everything so i might show you some bits that jack got because if you have boyfriends, husbands, brothers, dads that you need to buy things for um, and you're looking for inspiration or even if you're a man yourself, who knows? Um, yeah, it might give you some inspiration because you got some gorgeous bits but that will be in a vlog to come. I am just about to head back upstairs and carry on helping Jack with dressing room bits. I've just quickly come down to finish off some work ready for tomorrow and yeah, I thought I'd end this vlog because I've got really terrible at actually ending my videos. <laughs> I seem to just end them. Um, so I thought I would end it here. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. And I will see you on Thursday for a brand new video. There are lots of new videos coming. Very exciting things. Lots, lots more going on basically. So I hope you enjoy the vlogs over the next month or so. And yeah, I'll see you on Thursday for a brand new video. Bye.